All right, y'all, let's meet your boo, Shanita So Fly, first of her name. And this is Watch the Throne, where I'm giving you quick ass recaps of one of my favorite shows, Game of Thrones. Right now, I'm about to dive into season three, and I must say, this recap is dark and full of spoilers. So, if you're not with the shits, may the Lord of Light see you on your way out. All right, so it's autumn in Westeros, which of course means winter is coming. The White Walkers is up in the north fucking shit up as usual, and they're making their way to the mainland. Daenerys is still running around in the east, and right now she's being a classic white savior and freeing the slaves. And right now she got more names than the storefront church in the hood. I can't keep up. So for now, we're going to call her Daenerys the Scammer. She goes to ask the poor to free some slaves and to holler at these masters about an army. The streets are saying the army is sicker than the Bloods, Crips, and Latin Kings combined. <laughs> They're called the Unsullied and they're a bunch of brown niggas with no dicks. She agrees to trade a dragon so she could get the army and the masters, they bout that life. Then she has the dragon burn all their asses up and she leaves with the army, a dragon, and a black assistant. Iconic. Stannis refuses to take the L, so he pushes up on Melisandre in hopes of pushing out another demon shadow baby. But Melisandre ain't with the shits. I guess his dick wasn't that good. <laughs> Instead, she pushes up on Gendry, who is Robert Baratheon's bastard son. She ties his ass up, uses some leeches to take his blood. Then her and Stannis throw some Crisco on the grill and fry up the leeches. This places a curse on Stannis' three rivals. Bitch ass Joffrey, dusty ass Balon Greyjoy, and my boo, the cutie, Rob Stark. Now it's time to introduce one of my favorite characters. The shit talking, black and mild smoking, cheese and fig eating, money in her bra having, old Lena, money bag, money bag, money bag, woo! Tyrell. I'm sure she used to run numbers back in the day because her house got all the guap. They got the money, they got the respect, but they don't got the power just yet. And as we all know, that's the key to life. So she connects with the Lannisters to get her Tatiana-ass granddaughter Marjorie to marry bitch-ass Joffrey. Marjorie is sweet, pretty, and she dresses like a dance hall queen. She always got some sort of skin out. And Tywin forces Tyrion to marry Sansa because they know Sansa is the key to the north, so they keep that ass on lock. Poor Sansa. Jaime Lannister and his protector, Lady Brienne, a tall, badass bitch who be fucking niggas up. They end up getting got up by some unknown set of niggas. And they don't like Jaime, so just to be petty, they cut off his hand. Arya now done got got by some big, brolic, burnt face ass nigga that they call the Hound. He a hustler. He a, he a hustler, homie. And he a smart nigga, too. He plans to take her back to her family so he can get some bread and be good money. Literally. Jon Snow convinces them niggas from the Bronx, aka the Wildlands, that he rep they set now. And y'all, he done fell in love and got booed up with a Wildland bang. And apparently, not only is the D game strong, but he's good at eating pussy too. <laughs> the Wildlands plan on taking over the wall and Jon starts second guessing. He get all on his feelings and he dips us out of there. Wildland Bay is heartbroken and since she can't bust the windows out of his car, she shoot that nigga up with mad arrows on his way out. Niggas ain't shit, y'all. The cutie Rob Stark, now affectionately known as the King of the North, he realizes he done fucked up, y'all, and now he gotta go and apologize to rotten ass Walder Frey for not marrying one of his dub faced ass daughters. So to fix things, he offers his square faced cousin Ed Muir to marry one of the daughters instead. And honestly, y'all, she's not that bad. She like a low key snack. So at the reception, everybody living their best lives. They drinking heady, they smoking weed, they turning up, they hitting the shaku, and you know. Catelyn Stark realizes niggas is acting real funny style. The band start playing some old sad ass song. It's a rap, y'all. Hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because the phrase is killing everybody out there. They stab up pregnant Talisa right in the stomach. Roose Bolton stabs Rob Stark right in the heart and then they slit Catelyn Stark's throat. And the whole motherfucking thing was orchestrated by Tywin Lannister. I have had it. That's fucking bullshit. Who? And that's it, fam. Thanks for watching. Make sure you tune in next week when I'm recapping season four of Game of Thrones. In the meantime, tag a friend or 9,000 and tag HBO too. Okay? <laughs> okay.